In the previous video, we learned how to enter data in the leave sheet in the employee leave manager Excel template. In this video, we will learn about the balance report that is automated and readily available in the Excel template. So now just to recap, in the previous video, we learned how to enter the data in the leave sheet and I went ahead and added a lot of lot more records. And now we have a little bit more data so that the balance reports and the other reports can be showing some uh, information. Now the balance report, this sheet is fully automated. You have a few options. So you can see that there is a display option, a filter option and a page number option. So these are the three things that are readily uh, available for you to control. The fourth thing would be the, the custom field that you can display. So let's just start with the display. So the display has three options. So if I choose entitled, then the values here will reflect how many days does each employee uh, is entitled to, is each employee entitled to in terms of leave. So in this case, for example, the employee totally is eligible for 20 days of leave and it also breaks it down by the different types of leave. And I can change this to used and now it'll tell me how many days of leave have been used by the employee. And uh, this is reflecting as of now. So as of today, during the current reporting period, so the current reporting period we set here is January 1st to 31st December. And as of today, um, what is the leave uh, days used? And then we can also see what is the leave balance for each employee and you'll see the different numbers totally and also by leave type. The red numbers are which are negative numbers. So when we talk about balance, you should not see anything which is negative, but um, these mean that the employees have taken more leave than what they were entitled to. And so this is something that you may want to look into to understand why it has gone negative. The next option you have is filtering. So I can choose to filter, let's say for example, if I want to filter by location, I will choose location. And the location here, you can see the drop down. This drop down is all the fields that we entered in the employee sheet. So let me go back to the employee sheet. So you see all the uh, columns at the top. Those are the values that will automatically come in here for you to select. So if I choose location and I go into the next cell here and I'm going to type in, let's say for example, goes and hit enter. Now I will only see the employees from that specific location in my balance report. And if I do, if I want to see everybody, then I don't enter any value in this field and now everybody will show up. And if you have, let's say more than 100 employees so that the sheet can show 100 employees. If you can, if you have more than 100 employees, you can just type in the second page, for example, page number two, and then now it will show the employee 101 to employee 200. The template currently can support up to 500 employees, so you can change the page number to see the next 100, uh, 100 at a time. The other um, control you have is the second column. So it doesn't have to be location. You can choose if I want to show department, I can show the department here. And if I want to only uh, filter by HR, then I just do this. And now only the employees in the HR department will show up in my report. So this is to help you filter the report to a specific group of employees and then so that you can use it for um, you know, printing or exporting as PDF and share. The templates um, sheets are ready to print. So when you go to print, it'll look like this. So you'll have five pages totally. And if you have 100 employees, uh, but you can choose to print only two pages if you only have employees for two uh, sheets. And then you can print export as PDF by just going here to export as PDF and you can share the PDF. Um, and so it's very easy and readily available for printing and exporting. Now this is the balance report. This will automatically only include employees who were 
eligible or available during the reporting period. Any employee who has already left the company before the uh, reporting period or any employee who has not joined uh, yet uh, until the end of the reporting period will not show up here. Now that covers the first report, the balance report. In the next video, we will learn about the daily report. So if you have any questions, please post them in the comments below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching.